well. And then the not appropriate pitch flank. That flank angled away from the ground line, so it encourages the rider to take a bit of an angle over there. On the whole, jumped very well for four stars yesterday before the final went in that five star finale. So that's just that big table with the brush to lift the horses up right at the very end of the course. And so 24, number 36, jumping. Uh, the leaderboard, what well, we've got, 34 runners, and uh, the person who is out on board again in reverse order to work on 5 by 3 in this British Open Championship round is uh, Janelle Price, Rice New Zealand, racing against 30-year-old Graffanera, the first of 33 in the shake-up of the top three, Arbiter, Bezard, and Shea Justice, is led by uh, Kitty King, well, it's going to be a husband and wife, but one, two for the first two on track because Tim Price has scored with uh, Viscount Victor. Go, but, uh, a busy lady today, she gets underway. Tim Price then coming up towards the Hartford University and College of Flower Garden. Put in place, I think, maybe four, perhaps five years ago by Eric Winter, our course designer. And uh, really uses this beautiful garden to its optimum. So they come over the wall and taking that on a Number one, Tom McCure comes forward, recently promoted to that, having uh, picked up fourth individually at the Paris Olympics. That goes forward to the And on to the physiotherapy field at 50, 28.7, uh, the Five star, uh, the highest level of the sport, only seven competitions globally at that level. Uh, and indeed, actually, technically a higher level than the Olympics, where the uh, cross country is done at four star level. So, Le Mullen. That's a noticeable difference from the way Tim Price took it over the wall, but makes it look easy, even that 90 degree turnout over the box for the B element. Tim Price uh, and uh, Mike and Victor, they're safely home. My new starter, four France, Gaspard Maxou. Nice, his own 10 year old, uh, can do to 36.3 in the Versace 4 in the show jumping. So out to Dorty Park, Park in the intermediate, intermediate came fourth, came there. fourth there. Double, Double clear, clear for them that day. Yeah. And then over the uh, plank spreads uh, at five. Well done, that big drop at 16. Third as well, so not even one second could be over the time for those top riders if they want to mark their place later. Amy Penny, PSH Gazelle, jump in the cord pile then at four. Yeah, PSH Gazelle, last heading for them, uh, Burnham International, four star, double clear for them that day, finished in 22nd position. PSH Gazelle uh, at those double planks, activating one of those pins. National class, so they pick up penalties for that. But it is, of course, a vitally important state.
Daniel Vizzaro of Italy. He's away again, motoring uphill towards the Aston Martin GP12 combination. Jump to that straightforward apple cart as his restart fence. So well ridden down through that combination at eight. Where the lid is generous. Most of the lifetime option is 16 year old. In the home bread, I'm on how I know. And what a joy to see Alex. I think he's still in the around 21 years old. So he's making the climb up now to the Aston Martin combination then. Hanging long. Narrow button. Colin Barris H content OR and up through the house comes George Bartlett on into an Aztec. And it's over the last and home for Alex Calfern and Topspin. No jumping penalties for that combination. Yeah, this new pass and Tom Roland over the uh, plank spread. We're into the uh, top 20 now. Total 34 completed. A really complex set of questions to challenge these uh, riders for the British Championship title. Tom at the guard. Over the wall, over the box for and uh, off the head to the bigger. Big boy. 
Jumping the Metazone, Al Holland Lake, comes Nikki Hill with uh, her top right MJH Bingo Boy. And away from the Humphrey Flower Garden. And they make their way through the three along the putting course. And then go to that narrow brush on the top of the hill. And they look down from there on to the Metazone complex where the course gets really intense again. The middle section of that, as you would expect, for a, a British Open Championship. Of course, designed by our Babson designer, Eric Winter. So they go by Dominic Moore and his superb team. They're safely home, uh, Fiona Cashel and Viva Silva de Hart. And they come home at a time of 7 minutes 27. 10.4 time numbers. Through the Metro Zone complex at 12 from the old MGH Bingo Boy. Aaron Miller, he completes. Well, we are uh, nine horses still to start, so largely into the top ten now. Top two of the uh, top four have um, already been two to one for riders, but it's nine left to start. And remember, running in reverse order from the hole, the hole as the uh, best score that we've scored now from the top and the show jumping.
Fitzgerald Gelding, Encalada Saved by Katie McGee and Anne Kitchen, written by Katie, 31.1. And they head out for country in 10th place. This uh, combination competed here in the four star and uh, finished in 12th position last year. Want to go after Tim, and that's uh, Kitty King. Wait patiently to start for the first time. We've heard the best score of 20.4. Current leader, Emily King, on 23.8. But uh, closing now with uh, the uh, finish uh, coming uh, close uh, to the side. Last pair and charging. Lots of the other part of the advantage. Uh, combination better than 20. And that's still clear. Lovely test, 27.5. Add in their show jumping round and so far across country. Sarah, three from her. Well, over the drop box, the combination to this midnight star, Chanel Price still going well. well. Yeah, Dara Tindall coming home, minus 709 again, another fast round there. Just 3.2 time limit and super competitive. 30.7 that point. They'll get the second place just like that in the first. Yeah, and the second place is Paris. Coming over the bank of the road. Ron Zubia and Chitty King of Horse taken to Paris. Beautiful 